we're easily talking into the billions of dollars a year as being the cost of turbulence to airlines, which of course gets passed on to passengers. My name's Paul Williams and I'm a Professor of Atmospheric Science in the Department of Meteorology at the University of Reading. Invisible turbulence in the atmosphere is generated by what atmospheric scientists call a wind shear. And that sounds a complicated term, but all it means really is that the higher up you go in the atmosphere, the stronger the winds blow. So for example, if you've ever climbed the Eiffel Tower, you will know that when you're on the ground, it's usually not very windy. But as you climb up and go higher, the wind speed picks up. That's a wind shear. And in fact, that effect increases all the way up to 10 kilometers in altitude where planes fly. And it's shears, wind shears, in the atmospheric winds that cause clear air turbulence. And we have evidence that the jet stream is speeding up because of climate change. So that's increasing the wind shear, increasing the instabilities, and causing more turbulence to break out. There are a number of different ways in which turbulence costs the airlines money. And of course, they have to pass those costs onto the passengers. The most obvious way is injuries to passengers and flight attendants and crew. We know that there are thousands of planes every year in the USA alone encountering severe turbulence, which is strong enough to hospitalize people. So there are hundreds of injuries and even some fatalities on smaller planes caused by turbulence. If you add up all of these costs, the total cost of turbulence to um, the airlines is estimated to be up to 500 million US dollars a year in the USA alone. And if you extrapolate that figure globally, we're easily talking into the billions of dollars a year as being the cost of turbulence to airlines, which of course gets passed on to passengers.